to know. Becoming a member of Garden Communicators International, better known as Garden Com, was really the best decision that I've made to advance my speaking and my writing career. Today, I'd like to shine a light on this extraordinary organization and to share, introduce you to a few people that um, exemplify what makes GardenCom such a rich resource and community uh, that it is. I joined GardenCom in 2015 and went to the Pasadena, California conference. And from the very beginning, I, I experienced how generous the members were uh, to share their crafts with me and to share their time. I'm, and on the flight home, I remember thinking, hmm, what am I gonna be able to do? How can my speaking and writing be able to have an impact as it has for the many people that I had met? You know, prior to the pandemic, you know, we had our annual conferences in person, of course, and I rejoiced in meeting people from all over the country in all different areas of communication. And I got the opportunity to experience this big hearted community and be with people who have dedicated their lives and their work to share the joy of gardening with garden enthusiasts all over the world. And as a result, I've learned how to craft, steer, and grow my own career. Well, earlier this month was our second virtual conference and everyone rose to the occasion by, you know, putting out that extra effort that was needed in order for the education sessions to be rich and rewarding. And I have to say each one was better than the next. I couldn't help but feel how fortunate I am to be learning from the best of the best, how to be a more effective communicator as I share my unique perspective of how gardening can enrich our lives, our health, and our well-being. At the conclusion of the conference, the media awards were announced. And, you know, about a month ago, I was notified that I had won the Silver Medal of Achievement Award in the speaking category, first time ever. And that meant that I was a finalist for the gold medal. But you know, I honestly didn't feel like I was going to win. But guess what? I did. At first, I was shocked, and then I cried. I mean, that's what Italians do, right? <laughs> Today, I have to say I'm still a little bit flabbergasted that I was able to win this prestigious award. But you know, like all meaningful achievements that we have in our lives, we don't get there on our own. And at the very top of this list, I have to give a big grazie mille to my husband, Tim King, who's been my rock and my steadfast supporter for 37 years, and most particularly helping me in this transition to my second career. He's been my roadie, my videographer, photographer, and yes, my speech coach. And he's also the best chef that a hardworking woman could ever ask for. Because of who he is and his love and support, I am where I am today. I also wanna thank Amanda Wynn and her fabulously talented team at Wholehearted Business Development. You are the village I always wanted. And you have delivered time 
and time again. Thank you, Amanda. And last but not least, I want to thank and give a great deal of gratitude to the judges who've honored me with this meaningful award for the work that I truly enjoy and love to do.